so yeah samsung just announced their newest flagship devices a couple days back and i decided to jump on this trend as soon as i can and talk about my thoughts like a first impressions or should i say what i think about the s22 um s22 plus and the big boy s22 ultra these devices aren't out yet so there's not like a natural or should i say a proper test for how they perform on a day-to-day -day basis but this video will give you a general understanding of what to expect from these devices when they are released so yeah subscribe if you don't want to miss those videos all right so first of all let's talk about the s22 and s22 plus these designs are very much similar to like the s21 flagships that came out last year with the camera bump sticking out of the edges at the back of the device which is good to some people but to someone like me i see it like samsung is being a little bit lazy to come up with something new but you know who else is lazy to come up with something new uh, yeah so the designs are actually very similar to each other with the s22 being a little bit smaller with a 6.1 inch display than the 6.6 inch display on the s22 plus all having adaptive 120 hertz refresh rates both have flat amoled 2x displays with slightly flat edges similar to what we see on the iphone 12 and 13 and you know what they say if you can't beat them join them i doubt that code actually relates to this but you you get you get what i mean also the max brightness on these are crazy samsung actually called this vision booster so whatever lighting condition you find yourself you should be able to use the device with no stress the front of the devices also come with the same kind of design with a 40 megapixel hole punch selfie camera at the very top and that's basically all you can notice for like a first look at the s22 and s22 plus but going into the specs of the device so both devices come with the latest snapdragon 8 cx gen 1 an exynos version will be released at some point to other parts of the world 8 gigs of ram on both devices and there isn't really any big difference in the specs between these two except when we come to the battery capacities so the s22 has the 3700 milliamp hour battery while the s22 plus has a 4500 milliamp hour battery and finally the selling points of these devices the cameras both design have a triple camera setup a 50 megapixel wide camera a 10 megapixel telephoto camera and finally a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and that's about it for the S22 and S22 Plus. I could just end the video here since this will apparently be the devices that Samsung will sell the most, but we have to. And we cannot ignore the big boy, the S22 Ultra. The S22 Note Ultra. So basically samsung stopped making the note devices after the note 20s but little do we know that they were planning something big for 2022 but we can't really tell if they're actually planning this or this came later who knows but the s22 ultra is literally a note device with the famous s pen so yeah note is back this is also a slightly bigger device with a 120 hz 6.8 inch display with 40 megapixel hole punch selfie camera at the front it comes to the same snapdragon 8 gen 1 chip with 8 gigs of ram on the base model if you'll be getting a device with more than the standard 128 gig storage then you'll be getting 12 gigs of ram instead this comes with a 5000 milliamp hour battery which is expected since it's the ultra we're talking about and also the ability to fast charge the device up to 45 watts yeah that's that's pretty dope the cameras which is like the major selling point of the s22 series the s22 ultra comes with a quad camera setup 108 megapixel 100x space zoom main camera 10 megapixel periscope telephoto camera 10 megapixel telephoto camera and finally a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera one major feature samsung kept emphasizing on their official video is the nightography or should i say night mode and basically showing off how well these devices will actually handle taking pictures and videos at night the design on this compared to the s22 and s22 plus is kind of basic i don't know what you guys would say it seems like samsung were actually going for a minimalistic design and remove the camera bump i don't think that was even a problem because it's still on the s22 and s22 plus so i don't know and also this is a slightly curved screen unlike the flat screen on the other devices and the sides are also rounded with just the top and bottom being flat speaking of bottoms there we have the s pen which is tagged like the best feature in samsung device honestly to me i don't see anything special about it roast me in the comment if you want but yeah that is my opinion
deal with it. MKBHD did say something in his first impressions on the S22 Ultra, saying that the removal of the camera bump is actually dumb because most cases now will have to be made with like a P-shaped camera cuts, which uh, I do agree with what he said. But let's just wait and see what companies like the brand would do about this. But yeah, that's about all I have to say about these devices. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Again, these devices are not released yet, so watch out for the full review coming later subscribe if you don't want to miss those videos i catch you next week peace